Vancouver Resource Investment Conference, ladies and gentlemen, and now I'm at the booth of Palamina. And with me here is Andrew Thompson, the CEO, who wants to give us for the first time an insight into his terrific company. Andrew? Thank you, Jürgen. Hey, great to have you here. Thanks for taking the time. What is Palamina about? Can you give us a short overview? Sure. Uh, I sold my last company to Agnico. Uh, they spun us out Palamina. I spent about a year and a half looking for uh, potential gold deposits in the three to five million ounce range. We first put together a unique board of directors, younger guys that are proven track records, and we're now focused on Peru and the Puno Orogenic Gold Belt in southeastern Peru. Mm -hmm. There's a modern day gold rush underway, and there was a lot of ground coming open that had been held formerly by senior companies. And so first we picked up the team. They already knew a lot about, there's a company called Minera IRL. Yeah. We picked up most of the exploration team. Mm -hmm. So those we, are Peruvians also, or they live long time in Peru already? These are all Peruvian, mm -hmm. it's an all in-country team. I don't like to fly expats around, and yeah. I like to go with people. In this particular case, a lot of them speak Quechuan, you know, so it's uh, important. But at the end of the day, they define a significant gold deposit called Oyachea with mm -hmm. Minera IRL. And so we went out, and a, a lot of the ground that came out, but I, I was uh, very aggressive. Uh, Fresnillo's now uh, come behind us and staked all around our properties. Uh, we're at about 55,000 hectares, they're at about 78. So, uh, you know, there are some seniors involved. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly, and they're surrounding your properties, right? We ha yeah, at least three of our properties were yeah. in absolute contention. We go to Romate, which is auctioned against them. So, um, you know, it's uh, there's another group called Horizonte that are quietly a Peruvian group that have in Tucan production that are also active. Mm -hmm. uh, for, and, but there are a lot of uh, senior companies at the doorstep. My issue really is that I'm trying to do equity because I'm market cap constrained and they're all offering joint venture. I think that's about to change. With it's the maybe free. too early now. It, it's early for us yeah. to do it anyways, but uh, you know, a lot of these companies are going to be doing massive free cash flow the next year and they've got to replace their... So we're just trying to meet the demand for three to five million ounce deposits. Yeah, but they can buy you 10 times higher. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I don't like to speculate, but no, let's no, hope. But that's a, that's, let's say that's a game We've plan. We've had some success there, so let's hope we can repeat it. Okay, super. Um, as your market cap is quite, it's, it is just below under 10 million, right? Yeah, we, um, we, we sort of trade in a range because we've been yeah. working on permitting. And exactly. again, it's about 10 million range. Yeah. Until we put drill holes in, I don't suspect a lot's going to change, but we're now yeah. permitted. Yeah. We just got our yeah. uh, idea, so that uh, is something pretty interesting, but if you start looking at the gold exploration companies in Peru with the kind of things that we have, again, we've staked it, we don't have any back-end payments, in addition to which, uh, we've got our permits, so we really have a, a first mover advantage in that mm, respect. Other companies yeah. like Oren, you know, yeah. we're sort of in that bracket, right, yeah, in Miramont yeah. with Quentin Henning, we, we yeah. started earlier. Super. Okay, so what's the game plan for this year? What do you want to achieve? Um, not, not say wishful thinking, what would be realistic? Where, where, where do you see the work plan? Well, we sold one of our projects to a company called Windshear. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to drill at Coasa. They're permitting Gaban. So I will say there's two kicks at the can. Um, we're very uh, optimistic on, with some of our other projects. We've conducted a lot of property tours to be able to vend out another project. But simply put, we think that we can uh, start down the road of a major gold discovery. And again, this is a significant orogenic belt. There's 700 square kilometers of alluvials being mined today. This is a, a boom not a lot of people are paying attention to, but yeah. it comes from our belt. And it all has to do with this new intercontinental highway. And in 2008, it all started ramping forward. Riconada, at the top of the, at, it's the t highest town in the world at uh, 5,300 meters. There's 35,000 people moving at Glacier uh, mining. And so everything in between is what we're exploring for. So. Uh, you've got other, uh, you know, Oyache and Karani, they've had issues, but now it's a new round, and I look at those as being cutting your teeth. So the inflection points now, mainly because of the roads, you get drills in cheaply and, you know, do systematic exploration. Okay, super, fantastic. Um, do you face any problems with those, let's call it Garimperos, with those native uh, workers? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, Peru is not uh, yeah. at the top of the list, but at the same time, they had a formalization process about two years ago, so there is renewed respect amongst some of the informals. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's really about picking and choosing the right communities. You try and go for things that are at slightly higher elevations, where yeah. there's a lot less people. Uh, we've been very focused on trying to pick areas where we can. So on our main Kawasa project, 
There's about 1,700 people. I can tell you at the last fair, we gave out 1,200 packages of food. We run radio ads. So it's, it, it is more maintenance than I think it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's a slightly different level of sophistication. So, and it's very organized. So yeah. from my Super. perspective, it can be a bit timely because you have to be patient and wait. And I think the mistake companies have made in the past is over-promising, but also trying to force it. So the one thing I can say is you'll have delays where if you force it, you break it. So this team is very apt and we spent very little money and done a hell of a lot of exploration. So I can say for myself, it's worked. Super, so. perfect. Um, let's come, let's say, to some data. Because okay. I saw in your presentation, you had some beautiful grab samples, right? So yeah, can I you mean, maybe elaborate a little bit uh, what you so found so So this is an orogenic system, yeah. which is primarily shale and quartz with gold and quartz, our highest uh, chip assay was 620 grams, so it's more of a silver number, but we've consistently seen chips and channels in the, in the 10 to 75 yeah. gram range over about 1.6 kilometers, and it's really about vein canting now and getting some, uh, when we start drilling, getting some continuity. Yeah. I, I'm pretty certain we're going to find some gold. If you go to our, our webpage, www.palabina.com, and look at our, our presentation, you can see it. Um, again, we've also flown it. We've had done structural studies. It's a, a flower structure been remobilized. You know, all of the work that we've done is subsequently adding. And because of the delays with uh, permitting, we've actually put two million into the project. So we've done a lot more work than we would normally do uh, before going drilling. You know, mm -hmm. I think we would have tested it earlier. So the good news is a lot of it's adding up. And so that has me excited. And I should say, I've put over a million dollars in the company. So I'm yeah. very supportive. Great. So million dollar in the company. Yeah. Who are the major shareholders? I mean, you have a lot of costs. Your family, yeah, we sort of, honestly, we've kept our heads down when we spun our company out. Uh, Ernesto Echevenier maintains about 10%. Uh, we have three shareholders that probably all together with myself, it's about 45%. Uh, there's about four funds in, they hold about 3%. Um, you know, they've put in 100, 200,000. They're waiting for uh, us to be able to drill. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to have to raise more money before yeah. we go drilling, but you know, we have our permit now, and I, yeah. I expect we'll drill this year, mid-year, but I don't want to be too aggressive because, again, Peru has its own way of, uh, I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. But super. Then all the best for that. Okay. Andrew, thank you very much. Really thank pleasure. you so much. I, and I uh, wish you all the best for that. And we want to hear some good news then soon. Excellent. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Andrew Thompson, the CEO of Palamina. And you heard it. The uh, company is small, but uh, sitting on an orogenic belt in, in Peru. And uh, the grab samples they had so far are really outstanding. Over 1.6 kilometers, lengths of between 10 and 70 grams. As an average uh, here in gold plus silver, of course. The highest gold value is 620 grams. It's really outstanding. And as you know, where smoke is, there is fire. So I'm pretty sure when they start to drill, they will find some more. So interesting company, below $10 million. Of course, high speculative by now. But this is where the highest uh, risk will be, of course, highestly rewarded. So make up your mind. Check out the company. Thanks for watching us. And bye-bye from Vancouver.